I just recently, this past summer in Deal, I was just by a, uh, a Brit Milah, the Hamra family, and an old student of mine walked up to me. He made me cry. It doesn't take a lot to make me cry, so it's, you know, I'm not saying it's a big, you know. But he made me cry, this kid. He's not a kid, he's really married with kids, you know. But, you know, me and Abraham Lincoln went to high school, so now he's a kid still, in my eyes, so. He walked up to me and he said to me, Rebbe, I want to tell you something. I appreciate that you put your heart and soul into me in high school. And I appreciate what you did for me. And I appreciate that you went to bat for me and got me the chance to go to Eretz Israel. You spoke to the school for me. I appreciate that. But there was one moment that you changed my life that you don't know about. I said, when? He said, at the end of 12th grade, we took a graduation trip to Israel together. And he says, when we landed and we dropped the stuff off by the yeshiva that we were staying in, after that we all jumped into the car and we made our way over to the hotel that night, which is my minhag, every time I go to Israel, the day I land, that night I pray our beat by the hotel. It's my first stop to show that I have my priorities right. I go to the hotel that night. I rip, I cry my heart out, I come walking down the steps of the old city of the Rova, and as you make that turn on the steps and you're making your way down to the Kotel Plaza, suddenly the wall comes in sight. On that turn is where I stop and I break down like a baby. Oh, and I cry. And you should know that crying is out of happiness, more than out of pain. When I rip, I rip out of pain because I think about Abba, that he is a father without any children at home. And he's waiting for his kids to come home. And we're waiting for him to come back to us. But I'm also incredibly happy. It's a, it's a cry of happiness. Because when I walk up to the hotel, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm there. I pinch myself, I say, do you dreaming? No, this is real. I'm here again. I can't believe I'm here again. So I don't know how this happened, but this kid tells me that when we came to the cocktail that night to pray our B, when we landed that day, so we were coming with the whole class, right? The graduating class, 12th grade. And he happened to have been standing behind me. So after we made the turn and I ripped and I cried, okay? We made our way down to the wall. And as he says to me, I'll never forget. I was standing, I was standing behind you. He says, you walked up to the wall. You put your hands on the wall. You kissed the stones and you said, Abba. Thank you for the opportunity of letting me come back home again. Thank you, Abba, for letting me come back here again. The kid says, I said to myself when I heard you say that, Abba, who's he talking to? Who's the rabbi talking to? He's talking to the stones. Maybe the jet lag hit him. <laughs> he went Mejnun, the jet lag. You know the jet lag? He's talking to the rabbi's talking to the stones. Hey, the rabbi's talking to the stones. He says, I stopped and I said to myself, who's Abba? Who's he talking to? Who's he telling thank you for giving me the opportunity to come back again? Who's he talking to? And then the kid tells me, Suddenly it hit me. Abba. You're talking to Abba. Wow. He says, that minute, up against the stones, it hit me like a tone of bricks. Did you get that line? Up against the stones, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Did you get that line? Write that down. It hit me like a ton of bricks. He's talking to Abba. But he's talking to him. He's talking to him. He says, as a 12th grader, I looked at you and I said, He's real. Hashem is real. He's here. This is his house. I'm knocking on his front door. My rabbi is actually talking to him. He says, from that day on, I refer to Hashem as Abba. Every prayer, every Amida, every tefillah, I don't say God anymore. I don't even say Hashem. I say, Abba, can you help me? And he says, every time I say that, I think of you back by that wall 
And it does something to me to put my heart into whatever it is I'm asking for. And you should know that that changed me. That turned my life around. That turned my learning around. That turned everything around for me. You and Abba. Where would I be without Abba? Where would any of us be without Abba?